You can't see the atmosphere, but it covers the Earth to a depth of several miles. This sea of air has weight. It presses against your body with a force of thousands of pounds. My question right now is, why aren't we crushed? Well, that's a good question. Atmospheric pressure's pushing in on my front and forward on my back. But my body's cleverly designed so that the pressure of the fluids inside pushes out with equal and opposite forces that balance that. How do we demonstrate that with these things you have here? Okay, well, let's think about this metal disc here. It's being pushed upwards by the atmosphere with a force of 300 pounds and downwards with a force of 300 pounds, so the atmosphere isn't doing anything to it now. But take away the air from above, and then it could hold up 300 pounds of load. How do we do that? Why don't you hold that red can there? If we just put the two halves of our container together, air pressure's the same on both sides of the lid. But if we pump the air out of the cylinder, then the pressure inside the container decreases and no longer offsets the air pressure outside. That means 300 pounds of pressure pushing up on the lid. It's not a matter of suction inside, it's a matter of air pressure on the outside holding them together. That's right. Professor Taylor hung the cylinder on a rope with air inside the cylinder and the lid just fell off. So we pumped the air out. With a vacuum inside, air pressure outside held the lid on. All right, for safety's sake, we'll put on a crash helmet. Then Professor Taylor showed the lid was really on there. He swung by the handle on the cylinder, even hung upside down. But as soon as the air rushed in, <laughs> the party was over.